You may have seen them on the sideline at OU football games or driving the Sooner Schooner, but there are many traditions that the organization has that you might not have heard of, especially when it comes to OU Texas weekend. Every Sooner fan knows that driving the Sooner Schooner is an important job. But the night before OU Texas, Schooner driver and Roughneck President Connor Amy has what could be an even more important role. We protect the ponies the night before, make sure no Texas fans, no Texas football players, or you know, anybody's trying to mess with them, paint them orange or something, that would be terrible. But that's not the only tradition he and the Roughnecks have for the weekend. And although the game is played at the Cotton Bowl, the organization always makes sure that the Sooners have a home field advantage. <laughs> So we will go into the stadium and we'll, at the end of the last game before U Texas, we'll take some of the grass out of the field and we'll put it in one of our shotgun shells and bring it down to the Cotton Bowl and we'll just take it inside of our uniform and um, we'll, we'll take the grass out and we'll sprinkle it on the, on the 50. They say this tradition gives the Sooners good luck and brings a piece of Owen Field to Dallas. And the Roughnecks say their famous paddles also bring the team favor. Tell me what these paddles are for. So the only thing the paddles are used for at this point is something we call Pavada. It's a long-standing tradition. We start on the 50-yard line on our field, and we run to the north end zone and slide in, and we have some words that we say, and we beat our paddles on the ground. That is to rid the field of any spirits, bad spirits that would help us would make us lose. Many of these OU Texas traditions have dated back since the Roughnecks became an official organization in 1915. They brought on the Lil Sis program in 1973. When you say roughneck, it's not just a name. We really take something to that. We, we wear this, the patch on our back with pride. But the traditions are even more visible back in Norman. The roughnecks call it Paint Texas, a tradition since 1983. We all come down right here um, and we paint uh, a little phrase on the ground um, kind of to like hype up the university and get everyone ready for that OU Texas like game day atmosphere. The Sunday night leading up to the game, you'll see the Roughnecks and Lil Sis as well as their alumni painting Beat the Hell Out of Texas on the sidewalk near Asp Avenue in Elm. But there's one last tradition that's personal for their leader. Texas has a rival organization called the Silver Spurs, and the presidents of both clubs have something of their own on the line that depends on the final score of the game. We've made a deal that has been long going for years that the winning president shaves the losing president's head. So I've got a little more on the line this year. I'm a little more nervous about it, but I have confidence in our team. And they say that these traditions will continue for years to come. In Norman, Audrey Goodson, KOCO 5 News.